I used to do a lot of oblivious things, but one of the most oblivious things I used to say, which it now is kind of connected to me, which is now just like, wow. But I used to talk to females that I found like very beautiful. And I mean beautiful to the point like I felt like if I was to walk the streets with her, guys would literally stop just to try to smell her fucking pussy. If not the farts out of her ass, if not her hair, if not just the fragrance of her. And I'm just like, how the fuck don't you know you're beautiful? Girl, you like model beautiful. And that was before I was educated well enough to realize that people don't respect people just for being X, Y, Z, A, B, C. They respect you more or less because they fear you, because they love you, or because they're just respectful, kind people, spirits, beings in general. So it's just like, there's reasons why people do it. You just don't necessarily realize. It. So like, I used to think, how the fuck don't people know they're fucking beautiful? And then here I am being told, oh, I bet you're a woman. I Oh, I bet you get all the ladies. Wow, you're so charming. Y you have such like this, this, this something weird about you. You have like, like this superficial charm about you. Oh, I bet you charm all the ladies now, don't you? Oh, look at the little heart valve over here. Oh shit, the killer into the room. And like, I guess all of these are compliments, but I'm just hearing them as like, all right, I've heard them before. What does that mean? Because my own personal experiences and before, like I said, I knew the traumas that came behind being pretty. What do these words mean? Does that mean you're gonna molest me as soon as nobody looks? Does that mean you're gonna try lead me into a back alley and try to rape me because I'm a little fucking different? Like the fucked up part is I realized what molesting, raping, kidnapping was, but when it happened to me, it was just like, I don't want to do that experience again. That was just weird. Like, mm, the smile won't be around people alone anymore. And that's why I can really, uh, at least to that extent, grasp why women have issues trusting men because, well, yeah. Why y'all think male people have issues trusting police officers? You all look good until you don't. And the shitty part about the same thing with the police officers and the men is if you're around the group of people that promote what you do, it doesn't matter who the fuck you look at. That There could be that one good dude in that group, in that rape group or in that murder group that's going to kill you, rather it's internal or external. But because it's one against four, one against three, one against two, one against a bunch of people, that one is just as good as you being by yourself. That's so all they're going to do is kick themselves and wish, oh, I wish I would have, I wish I would have, I wish I would have. I've even done that to myself, and I've been a little bit better about not doing that anymore. But if I see somebody taking an unfair advantage of I became this strong because nobody could protect me. So of course, I made sure I was ready for my bullies, but now my bullies don't want to bully me because they don't bully people because they're fucking hard to challenge. They bully people because they're fucking weak and infantile. As I tell you guys, most of the bullshit that did happen to me that was dangerous to me happened while I was young and dumb and didn't get it. Now that I do, nobody wants to touch me. I'm like, really? I'm not molestable anymore? I'm not fucking rapeable anymore? Whatever. Always going for the new latest shit like fucking iPhones and vehicles. And I gotta be out here being a vigilante trying to protect these kids. That's on education, that's self-expression. Don't. If any kid ever sees that, tell that fucking secret. Secrets aren't meant to be kept because they're gonna come out eventually, so tell it now. Even if nobody believes you, somebody will. Somebody believe the boy that cried wolf anyways. Cry.